Well, here in Australia, we have a way to give children living with cerebral palsy a better life. It's a treatment which could dramatically improve the lives of children with cerebral palsy. A treatment that could be life-changing for children with a disability. Stem cell treatment using umbilical cord blood is allowed in many places right around the world and it can get a child with cerebral palsy moving a whole lot more and with a lot less pain. Rich in powerful stem cells, cord blood and tissue samples are being saved in the tens of thousands. Professor Novak, how does this actually work? How, does, how do these umbilical cord treatments actually help children with cerebral palsy? Yeah, so umbilical cord blood is rich in a range of stem cells. And when we give it back to children Ow. using uh, a process through a drip, we actually find that it improves their movement skills. It has anti-inflammatory properties. Umbilical cord blood would definitely be a game changer. This is the first stem cell treatment for children with cerebral palsy that's been proven to be effective. Three clinical trials in the world have shown promising results, at times increasing movement skills in children beyond what is possible in rehabilitation. What we see in these trials is that their movement skills are improved, so if they can already walk, their walking quality is better. And for children with severe cerebral palsy, they're able to do more things. Many parents tell us their child is more alert, for example. This is the Munns family. Brody was diagnosed with CP at 18 months old. But when his sister Zoe was born, he underwent a sibling umbilical cord blood clinical trial. Well, we were told at 18 months that he had suffered a stroke, um, something that I didn't know even occurred in, in children, let alone when it happened was apparently when I was still pregnant. What did you notice in him that was, that was strange? Because you, you had a gut feeling something yeah, was wrong. Yeah, so from when he was about nine months of age, I noticed that he wasn't using his left side as often as he should compared to his right. And when he would walk, he would lose his balance and um, would walk like he had had a stroke. Emily was injected with her brother Oliver's cord blood for the trial. Now there's hope future research and a change in laws could pave the way for more stem cell therapies. What difference did you notice? What, what impact did that treatment we have? We actually noticed a big difference two weeks after his infusion. Wow. <laughs> so um, my husband and I actually noticed that he wow. was using his left hand without us even having to remind him. It sort of came around with everything that he wasn't able to do to support it. He then started using it. So right now the only way they can get it in Australia is to save a sibling cord sample with a company called Cellcare, which is a private company that offers this service to families for free of charge if they have a child with cerebral palsy and then they can hope to get in a clinical trial. Well their only other option is to fly overseas and pay $20,000, $50,000 for this treatment overseas. And what we really want to see is this treatment available here in Australia in a safe country and to lower these costs for families.